Hello everyone. In this episode of the SAP Learn in 5 minutes series, we are going to look at how to make a sales order. But in fact, what is a sales order? A sales order is an order issued by a customer when he asks you to provide him with a good or a service in exchange for a payment. It is important to know that a sales order is a document. In SAP S for HANA, it will be stored digitally in the database. To create a sales order, we can use the transaction VA01 and press enter. And here we need to specify the order type. We will choose OR here, which is a standard order, and we will press on enter. Here we need to specify first, first the header. So we need to write here the sold to party and the ship to party. We can choose here the client, who will, which will pay the material, and here the client that received the material. So it can be the same, of course. And when you have choose this, you can press on enter. And here we need to choose the sales area for customer. So we need to, 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 to choose the sales organization, the division, and so on. So for our, our example, it's not really important. It can affect uh, some information about the, the pricing condition and so on. But for our example, I will choose here the first. I double click on it and we will choose here the first run here. After that, we need to specify the customer reference. So it can be a reference given by your client um, your customer and here a date so maybe the date uh, when the, the client um, wants to buy your, your material or uh, a reference date important for your customer and then when you have here write the two information you can press on enter hello let me interrupt you for five seconds if you are interested in our content, don't forget to like this video, to subscribe and to activate the bell in order to be notified each time we will publish a new training video about SAP. Thank you very much for your support and enjoy the video. Here the header is now fulfilled. We can go in the item part and here we will specify which materials our customer want to buy. For our example, I will choose this material, AWM S4 02, and I need to specify also the order quantity here, maybe three pieces. And I press enter. After that, I have filled the information about the item that our, our customer want to buy. I can press on the save button here. And when I have pressed, you can see that the standard order 257 has been saved. We can go back and we can see our sales order now in the transaction VA02. I press enter. You can see here our number 257. I press on enter. And we are now in the standard order in change mode. And we can, of course, modify the sales order here. We can now go back and we can go with this material in the requirement list. With the transaction MD04, I press on enter. I will here write the material and also the plant. I press enter. And here, we can see the stock requirement list for our material here, this material. And you can see that in the MRP element, we have a customer order, our number here, and the number of pieces that our customer want to buy. And it's important to note that now, the, 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 the sales order is linked with the MRP element and it can be linked with the PP production if we 
uh, if we produce this material or with the purchasing department if we buy the material. Thank you for watching this video. Don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel if you like our content and to visit our website to learn more. See you soon!